parts of speech english has eight parts of speech noun pronoun verb adjective adverb preposition conjunction and interjection they indicate how a word functions in a sentence grammatically according to its meaning in that sentence the same word can function as more than one part of speech when used in different situations noun a noun is the name of a person place thing or idea for example john is the name of a person hyderabad is the name of a place pencil is the name of a thing and happiness is the name of an idea nouns often take an article a an or the before them but not always proper nouns always start with a capital letter common nouns are written using small letters nouns can be singular or plural concrete or abstract nouns show possession by adding apostrophe s nouns mostly function as a subject a direct object an indirect object or a subject complement or an object of preposition in a sentence pronoun a pronoun is a word used in place of a noun a noun for which a pronoun is used is called its antecedent the types of pronouns are personal pronouns that refer to specific persons or things possessive pronouns indicate ownership reflexive pronouns that refer to the subject of the clause in which it is used relative pronouns introduce a subordinate clause and demonstrative pronouns identify point to or refer to nouns verb a verb expresses action or a state of being there is a main verb and sometimes one or more helping verbs she can sing sing is the main verb can is the helping verb a verb must agree with its subject in number singular or plural and person first person second person or third person verbs also take different forms to express tense or time in simple present tense we use v1 to express habitual actions in simple past tense v2 is used to show one time past action in simple future tense will plus v1 is used to indicate future action the ing form of verb is used in continuous actions v3 is used with has have or had in perfect tense and with is am are was or were in the passive voice of sentences adjective an adjective modifies or describes a noun or pronoun it usually answers the questions of which one what kind or how many articles a and the are usually classified as adjectives adjectives can be of different types like proper descriptive quantitative numeral demonstrative distributive interrogative and possessive adverb an adverb modifies or describes a verb an adjective or another adverb it usually answers the question of when where how why under what conditions or to what degree adverbs often end in ly but not always adverbs can be of the following types namely adverbs of time like sometimes recently soon adverbs of places like everywhere there above adverbs of manner like dangerously quickly neatly adverbs of degree like entirely highly almost just 
adverbs of frequency like always regularly rarely and conjunctive adverbs like next now rather anyway etc preposition a preposition is a word placed before a noun or pronoun to express its relation to another word or element in a clause in the sentences the monkey is on the roof she arrived after dinner and what did you do it for the words on after and for are prepositions the three main types of prepositions are prepositions of place prepositions of time and prepositions of moment and direction the prepositions are also classified as simple double compound participle and disguised conjunction a conjunction joins words phrases or clauses coordinating conjunctions like for and no but or yet and so i used to join two or more words phrases or clauses that have equal grammatical importance subordinating conjunctions connect clauses that are not equal the most common 23 subordinate conjunctions are because before despite even if even though if in order that rather rather than since so that thought though unless until when where whereas whether while etc there are about 50 common subordinate conjunctions interjection an interjection is a word used to express a strong emotion or a sudden feeling of joy grief suffering regret etc it is often followed by an exclamation symbol in sentence formation interjections provide no grammatical purpose instead it's an exclamation used to communicate emotions in everyday conversation the most common interjections are hurra a yay wow alas you oops ouch sorry etc please like share and subscribe